Alrighty guys and welcome back in. Today we're going to be on Bad Hams version 2. Now this is a pretty fun map. I'm going to say it's more survivor side of version 2 than version 1. I'd say version 1's more killer. I can see a generator all the way down there that has a teammate on it. Nice. Let's go through the exact middle of the map. Try and find out who the killer is. Looking in the bottom left, there is no indicator. I can see movement behind me. We're going to be versing your girl Lisa this game. Do you hear a heartbeat? You don't. Therefore, knowing that there's no heartbeat triggered right now, we're looking at a nice... Beautiful Lisa here that has monitor and abuse. Monitor and abuse may have just. Yep. Okay. Monitor and abuse can be a bit of an annoying perk to deal with, but if you know what you're dealing with, it'll be okay. She put a trap down. That's great. I'm gonna take a little bit of distance, and if she chooses to chase, I'm gonna go back in there, and I'm gonna trigger that trap. Remember, she's spawned here. If I can keep her with me the entire game, it's gonna really hurt her. Okay, on to the next one. Nope, too early, cutie. Now, she put a trap, that's why she took so long, so I'm not gonna go through, I'm gonna go round to the right. And I'm gonna go through this one. Got her. If I took the other window, she would have been able to get a hit on me because of the trap. She took so long to follow, so what did she do? She set up another trap. We're going to keep our eye on her. Why is it good that I'm looping her? Because I know where she's placing her traps. If somebody else is looping her, then it'd be a bit different. Now, we've already done one Jenny, so the best thing I can do is look for a trap, which we can see right there, trigger them, and then play around it, right? Just be that real pain and stop her from using her ability. Remember, she's only 110% movement speed. If I can keep triggering these traps, she realizes what I'm doing right now. I'm not applying pressure towards objectives, but I'm applying constant pressure towards the killer. I think she's ready for another teleport real quick. Let's see if she is. And she knows not to come for it. She took a hit on somebody else. And let's just go back in and apply pressure elsewhere. We got one generator done, one player hit. I gave her no pallets, and I'm going to apply pressure towards another objective. We should be looking at another generator popping real soon. This is the issue with the hag and why I don't give her a high ranking. All comes down to the fact that people can counter you, and all it takes is one person. If she chooses to chase me the whole board, I know she can place 10 traps. I know there are more than 10 loops on this map. There she goes to the right-hand side. Remember, she's got mono and abuse. She didn't trap under the hook either. Hope you're paying attention, my friend. Let's see if he runs away from that. I'm going to trigger this. No, I'm not, because she's coming in for me. I'm going to just keep running to the right here and watch her. She's got modern abuse. Remember that small heartbeat. We're just going to... She scared me. All right, we're too beautiful. That is a long wall. She scared me, chat. She's not following, so she either heard the gen or... I don't know what happened there. A little bit of a jump scare versus in the hag then. Alright, I was pretty sure she hadn't been over here this entire time. I'm going to grab this. We've got another two generators done. I took a hit and gave her nothing for it though. I'm going to trigger this trap. Nope, she's a little slow in it. I'm going to run around this. She was ready for it, but she just was a tiny bit slow on the trigger finger. Got another generator downstairs. That was a bad dead hard for me, but I can still make it work. Didn't want to give it to her, but I mistimed my dead hard because I thought she'd lunge early on it, but she didn't. Let's see what she decides to do. Putting another trap down. Just going to wait right out of range of her. Kind of want to make sure there's nothing over here. There is. Okay, that's bad. There she goes. I want to untrigger this trap. Alright, think of the time she's wasting over here right now. She's putting another trap down. I'm getting no work done through objectives. She, I don't know if she looked at me then. I think she's ready for it. She lost another generator. I'm the only one injured. Oh my god, I didn't know there was one there. It's still make the window against her. I know she's got a trap behind me. And you want to know something? I will give you this. Because this, ladies and gentlemen... Allows me to take this. There's no basement here. And this is the end of the game, my dear. There's one generator left.
Rather than constantly looping, I'm just gonna give her it. Give her the pallets nice and early. I have time. I've got one generator left. And I'm taking her to a corner of the map. I'm gonna play this safe. Get to a corner. Get my dead hard back. And then I'll make a play. Remember, modern abuse means she has a 16 meter tear radius. And she can teleport uh, 40 meters as a hag with no add-ons. So what do we know? We know we got Iron Will. We know we're getting Dead Hard back. We know we got one teammate who just broke a totem. Therefore, it could have been Devour Hope. Could have been Ruin. I haven't worked on any objective this game. My Dead Hard is back in action. Back in play. I know she put a trap down here on the right-hand side. That's my adrenaline taking effect. Now, the issue here with the Hag is I kept so much pressure on her coming back. Triggering her traps that it really hurt her. She got one hit. She got one hook on another guy. I was starting to give her free pallets towards the end of the game because there was only one generator left. And I had three healthy teammates, so I figured adrenaline was coming really soon. I also know she doesn't have no ed, which is nice. I also know that the basement is all the way on the left-hand side of the map, not near the shack. So we can maybe make a play and work around this. I didn't see where the other door was. Looks like she actually played a Mori, ladies and gentlemen. So I managed to pull off a counter against a Mori on the Hag. I didn't even notice she played that. Unfortunately, our teammate is going to be dying there. And it looks like everyone else is going to be getting out. So she did one hook that entire game as the Hag. It just goes to show you why I don't put the hag towards the top of the food chain. If I had a flashlight, I could have countered her even more. But with nothing, you can still work around it. Dead hard if I need to recover from a mistake. Constantly triggering her traps. Entwining jungle gyms together. And remembering where her traps have been placed prior. Anyways, guys, GG's well played. If you're watching this one on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button. This is an educational survivor tutorial on how to loop the hag and keep the pressure on her at all times. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video. Thank you all for watching. And uh, see you in the fog.